crazy our neighbor has actually is uh, pruning the chocolate wine tree that they have and I was uh, asking for permission to use a few of these branches we may actually be able to grow it from cutting I don't know anything about it so I have to go and actually see how it is but in the meantime because now they are available I'll just take a few of the woody ones just try to see if I can grow it from the cutting it may grow who knows And I will reduce the load of the compost table house. So I'm going to put them in the some pot. But why now? Huh? Chocolate vine, yeah, because the, the flowers smell of chocolate. Oh. And they come around out around about September. So when the flower smells of chocolate, the leaf must also smell a yeah, little bit. And you can actually eat the leaves as well. You can eat the leaves. And the vine mm. bit, you know the the vines, that's very hardy, so they make mm. baskets and things out of it. Yeah. In, in, um, oh, this is uh, like this, it's so strong. Yeah, it's very strong. Oh, look at that. Yeah. The inside of it is full. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. This year we didn't have very many, I think probably because it was so dry and hot. It's quite cold hardy also, it seems. It's very hardy. It's adopted to British weather, very good. Yeah. <laughs> So we're thinking if we trim it down now, then yeah. hopefully we might get more fruit next year. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, yeah why not? But the fruit is... Have you studied how to actually uh, um, prune it? No, not really. I was, I'm Let just me just see if, you, if there is anything fruit. online. Yeah. Large fruit, mm. chocolate wine. And the inside of it, you can see. When they oh, start splitting, beautiful. you've got to catch them before they start splitting over. Yeah. You know, I have something that you have made a deep mm -hmm. pot full of the compost and soil and these are the cuttings of the um, chocolate wine is a woody part of it what i have done is that uh, i found where is the top where is the bottom and i have with the knife made a kind of like a pen uh, cutting there sharp edge and i'm putting them in the soil like that. I keep them in the polytunnel because they need a little bit of warmth probably to germinate or whatever they want to do. I've cut all the leaves. I put them around the edges of the pot so they will grow better. Thank you darling. Yeah, put them deeper, as deep as possible. And this one goes from this end, which is again cut. And we have another one. And God willing, this will be taken. I'll put it in the polytunnel. Thanks to our neighbor Daisy who gave us this beautiful plant, beautiful fruit. Chocolate wine now inside the polytunnel. Now I have modified my um, Meat ETX uh, uh, 125 to accept Thank you.